Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Bale, <clears throat> and welcome to the channel. Uh, as we can see here, we're looking at uh, the rotor to my pulse. Well, it's not actually a pulse motor, it's more of a permanent magnet motor. But the rotor has, this is how it breaks down. It's got the base magnet, which is a 100 pounder. And it's got the neodymium n52s in these two sizes so it's the big one and then the two little ones and the same is here but there's only one little one and then there's zero two one zero that's how it goes four times around the rotor and then the stator magnets uh, this one's actually yoked and it's two round ceramic and four rectangle ceramics. It's really kind of neat the effect it has on this. I'm going to give it a little tiny nudge like so. And the other one on this side is the same but it's not yoked. So you have four rectangle, two round. And this, so far, this is the best I could get it to work with just the the tube, so it's balanced. And, that, and I, that's right in my mind. I got if I yoked that one, it could be a little better. But the least amount of uh, resistance, even if it's for acceleration, is probably the best way to go. And it's kind of backed out a little bit from the rotor. The stator's backed out about uh, one and a half inches, maybe two inches on either side. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to take the little one, the little N52s off. Because it looks like it's just uh, creating uh, more friction. I thought it would, uh, you know, create a, a notion that there was actually like some, I don't even know, like, like there was a indent. I mean, I'm just trying to imagine what the benefit of this would be. And I, I'm losing, I'm losing my marbles right now, but that's okay. Right. We're just gonna. take these little round ones off wow that is super strong super strong oh yeah and that motion is just like Smooth. All right, now we're going to give a little nudge. And what's making this so like possible is the, the levitation disc underneath. It's reducing the amount of friction on the bearings and the, allowing the bearings to be used to their utmost extent by stabilizing, allowing the shaft to be stable.
Yeah, that's super cool, man. <clears throat> because it's just... The big M52 magnets are spliced in half, north and south. Uh, so, like, each side of it has a north and a south. Or, no, that's not what I mean. Each side of it is a north and a south. That's not what I mean either. One side's north and one side's south. That's what I'm trying to say. They cut it. Not hemispherically, but... That cross-section, you get what I'm trying to say? And the inside part of the N52s are riding the levitation magnets underneath. So that's the only reason that it's working is because the inside is north and the levitation disc is north. And this, I don't know if you can really count this movement, but it's still moving. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty good. I mean, this thing weighs a freaking ton. Last time I pushed down on it though, it came together. And the reason that happens is because in between each one of the magnets is the opposite pole. So when you have all of them facing one way, in between becomes the south. And if it's facing north, the in between will flux like the south, attracting the north. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, it's masked. Uh, so it's just, uh, it's just floating there because the north reaches farther than the south. But if I push on it and it goes down far enough, it'll, it'll latch because the south will definitely attract it. Now, I think we might be able to get the, everything in closer. But that'll be for a different video. Thank you very much. Peace out. Please subscribe. And have a wonderful night. This is awesome. I mean, it's it's not very fast and... Uh, I think you get a max of about 0.75 volts. Just real quick before we go. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Anyway, thanks again. Peace out.